What you want? You in here too? Where you at? Oh! What's up everybody, Typical Gamer here, and today for you I have a brand new episode in the Red Dead Redemption 2 walkthrough. We're going to be doing a couple of missions here, starting with our good old friend, John Marston. If you watch and enjoy this too, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and if you want to cop some fire merch, head over to typical.store, link in the description below. Let's go ahead and talk to John. Um, I'm a little busy, but you know, we got to talk to John. I think somebody else was trying to talk to me there. Uncle told me something about a train. Uncle tells you a lot of things what did a bit. He say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet mm -hmm. Meadows just south of the state border. Yeah, yeah, that was in Valentine. Need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable. Oil. Put it on the tracks. Well, they Arthur looks interested. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. <laughs> uh, for you. He never compliments him. That is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. There you go. He's got to give him a little back. You might be the first bastard. To ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. <laughs> so we doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head right. down for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. Well, you go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Dewberry Creek. Somewhere Creek. near there. All right, so we got to go get an oil wagon, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get on it. Let's go get our horse. Wagons that can't be stolen for John are blipped with the golden wagon logo there. So, as you can see, opening up our map, we have two wagons available that I can see right here. Uh, we got the Cornwall oil wagon. I think they're both. They're both Cornwall oil wagons. And one's in Valentine. One's in this oil field's place. I know this place is heavily guarded. This feels like the Fort Zancudo of this game. If you guys don't know GTA 5, Fort Zancudo, very heavily guarded place, military base. And this one would seem like it would be way easier, but I like a challenge. So I feel like we're going to head over here and we're going to try to get uh, try to get our oil wagon from there. This seems like a really cool mission, though. I can't wait to do a, a train heist with John Marston himself. No complaining there, let me tell you that. Gotta love John Marston. All right, let's head out of camp. Let's get over to that place. I'm thinking we probably go in stealthy, but we'll, we'll we'll develop a battle plan when we get a little bit closer. I did want to bring up though, there was a tip that uh, was it was pretty weird to figure out. I mean, the rabbits around in the game and the birds and stuff like that. There's different quality of pelts. Now I thought that was the way that you take them down affects the pelt, but apparently just the animal itself has to be good. So in the bottom right, if you've studied them, it will show you how many stars the animal is. And if you take down a three-star animal, that will give you a perfect pelt. Now, I've got one of these by accident, but now that I know that, I will definitely only be hunting uh, those rabbits that I see. That got that perfect, perfect rating. We only saw armed guards by the train tracks last time, but... Oh! We got one over here. Two over here. That's the, that's the oil wagon right there. And they've got a guard on it. So I've also got is that a cat or a chicken? Couldn't tell. We've got three guards over here. One guard up there. There's there's just a lot of people. And on these tracks themselves, we got people, dogs, everything. So it's gonna be a problem to say at least. Oh, we got some guards over here as well. All right, so I'm thinking if anything goes down over there, those guards are going to come through as well. My horse is freaking losing it. My horse is freaking losing it. All right. Oh, there's a raccoon. Is that a raccoon? No, that was a skunk. See, now I'm going to show you the, that little tip that I got for you guys. All right. So take out the varmint rifle. Aim it. Study that skunk. 
And it's a Stripe Skunk. It's a two star in the bottom right. Still good. The pellets would sell for more. Could possibly use for crafting, but definitely would sell for more. All right, let's park our horse up here. And I think a good thing to do before these missions is save. So we're going to go ahead and save our game because if anything happens, we don't want to have to restart all that. All right, we got to make sure that we're loaded out for this. So let's make sure we got our pump action shotgun and also our carbon repeater. Make sure we have our, our trusty revolvers out. So we got the Grandeur revolver. We got the Flacco one too. We're probably going to have to grab him again when we get off our horse here. So all these sides are pretty heavily guarded. We can just hop over and grab the cart there, but I feel like that wouldn't be that stealthy. This seems to be the only side that isn't protected. So what we can do is we'll drop our horse off down here. And maybe we get high ground, just take everybody out. There's a lot of people, though. Don't know how well that's going to go. So let's make sure that we get our carbon repeater. I think we already have everything on us. All right. All right. Looking at this place, we got to make sure we're well armed. So we got our pump action shotgun, carbon repeater, sawed off shotgun, and Granger's revolver. We've got a lot of guards here. A lot, a lot of guards. So it's going to be a very, very big problem getting in. But luckily for us, we see the cart right over here. But there is like four guards right around it, so... Hmm. Alright, horsey. Let's make sure, do we have everything? Oh, we don't have the repeater, so let's go grab that. Oh, we can just draw a repeater from the horse. There we go. Go right up to this edge here. We're just gonna have to steal it. We can't take out this many people. Which is not gonna happen. Maybe I could tomahawk that one guy. <laughs> if I can tomahawk him, I can get the challenge done. And I can make this way simpler for myself, so. Let's see if I can hold back the tomahawk. Oh! Someone witnessed my murder. I'm out of here! Yeehaw! Oh boy. We're still in the wagon. Get it on out of here. We tomahawked one of the guys and we're stealing it now. Oh, that's a lot of tar. Oh, shoot. Well, pardon me. It's a bit of treacherous terrain. Off road, baby. Yeah, there was no way we were taking out everybody in there. They saw me tomahawk command and that was enough for me. Enough for me to get this and get out of here. The crime has been reported. We're now wanted. So we're going to have to pay off that bounty in a bit. But we stole their oil wagon. We got to deliver it now. Let's just gun it. So this is what's going to go in front of the train. So that we can uh, make sure the train stops. From one of two ways. There we go. We should just go off-road. I mean, it's a pretty abandoned location he wants us to leave it at. Oh, and he was not kidding. Let's leave this over here. Just pull it up and maybe drop it right there. There we go. Um, It's leaking some oil. We should probably patch yeah. it up. I just said it was in pristine condition, but uh, upon further inspection, uh, how do I tell John this, but it's most definitely leaking some oil. Oh yeah. Mm. There might not be any oil left when, uh, we, <laughs> when we get back to John, so there's that. What's in here? Oh, what the heck? There's a ladder. Head down here. Oh, it's like a secret little bunker. Kind of just feels like some people. Squatters. Check what they got, though. Open cover scent. Mm, nothing much. What's in here? Nothing. 
premium cigarettes. We got enough. How about this big wardrobe? Okay. Valerian Root. Use Valerian Root will increase your dead eye experience. Ooh. So that might have been worth it. And then we got, ooh, a cigarette card. This is like an arrow. Do you see the arrow? Okay. Let's put that away. We got to collect those. Canned vegetables. There's definitely an arrow. It's definitely pointing somewhere. Two out of 12 cards found. Perfect. So, out of curiosity, I mean, if this is right, it's pointing directly this way. Maybe you use, like, C4 on this wall or something. At least there's some secrets. Who knows? Probably not. Probably not actually an arrow. This is overthinking things. Oh, sometimes they stack stuff in chimneys, though. Not in this one. Not in this one. Alright, let's see where we're at. So, we're over here. We can actually go to the stable here. So let's retrieve our horse in the stable. We do have a bounty in this area from our previous uh, gunslinger activities. All right, let's go to the horse stable here. Let's get our horse back. Get the guy to come deliver it to us. They're like, go find El Jefe. Manage to own horses. El Jefe, retrieve him. There we go. Upgrade him. Oh, okay, it's just it's just the good old stuff. All right, that's all I need you to do. Thank you very much. All right, now where do we gotta go for this mission? We have to head back to camp, so let's head over there, ASAP. Let's go see what John Marston will do for us today. Good evening, Arthur. Hmm. I should really hitch him up just to get the core values back up. Come on, buddy. Just gotta hit you. All right, don't get all worked up. Wait, I'm getting him out. I just need to hitch him up. Not let me get on my horsey. All right, horsey, you'll figure it out. All right, let's see what John has to say. He probably wants to rob it during the nighttime, doesn't he? I got what you needed. John. Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. <laughs> Arthur's funny, man. All right, so we just rode out. Now we got to go pick up one more man, I think. So let's head over here and let's see if we can recruit him. Is this him in the uh, tent? Oh no, this is this is Abigail. Come here a minute. Wait, Abigail, I got stuff to do. All right, there's heist to do, trains to rob. He said meet up at the thing. I think that we got to talk to Abigail first though, because we have no mission marker for John Marston. So. What is it? Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you? Do something with Jack. Ooh. He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because you do what you say. Please. Okay. I'll take him in the morning. Thank you. Taking him fishing. Let me get some rest first. It's been a tough day. Robbing trains. Thinking about it at least. Let's get this kid. Alright, go to Jack. Jack Marston. Oh man. Jackie boy. 
what you up to? Playing. Anything Aww. fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're... <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. <laughs> Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. Alright, go get your fishing pole. Aww, he keeps it right there. Alright. Come on up, buddy. Come on up, Jack. There you go. Let me put that fishing pole there. Ah, uh, there you are, buddy. All right. All right. Hold on tight. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. You shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. He's so nice oh, to him. Just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much for kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> it's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yeah, oh, no, kid. Not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, mm. we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. Oh, quick. I'll get you uh, back. Sure, someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. All right. We sure do, so don't we? Good a spot as any. All right, buddy. Get off the horse. Get your fishing pole. Grab that. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Uncle Arthur, he's so cute. I can't wait to get started. <laughs> oh, man. You show me where, Uncle Arthur. You're so adorable, kiddo. Just by the water there? You mean? Yep. Hold L1 and tap R1 to use item wheel. Go to items. Go over here. We go to... The fishing rod. First, we need some bait. We need some bait. All right. So attract smaller fish such as rock bass and bluegill. That's cheese bait. No bait, so cannot catch a fish. Uh, bread bait. Attract smaller fish such as redfin, pickerel, and perch. And then corn bait. Attract smaller fish such as bullhead, catfish, and chain pickerel. All right. Let's get cheese bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? <laughs> Smellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your All right. wrist, not your elbow. So pull back. Pulling back further before releasing, we'll cast it out further. Let's release it. There we go. Like that? That's it. Good. There you All go, buddy. Now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. But if you feel Fair a enough. hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait. So yank hard to hook it. All right. Good tips. I think you've got a bite. What? I got one. I got one. There. Got him. Is it a big one? I don't know. Rotate it quickly to reel in the fish when it's tired. Oh, oh, I was doing the wrong one. There we go. Reel it in. There, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear them out first before you try to reel them in. There we go. Like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna Woo! try reeling them in nice and steady. There we go. Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. 
There you go. All right, now you catch Can a fish, buddy. A from fishing? I want to oh. something. Okay. Press triangle to quick equip cheese bait or hold L1 to use the wheel. I'm a quick equip I'm gonna cheese bait. Some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. Okay, don't go too far. I like the look of that spot. There we go. So they'll often nibble before biting. So let's just wait for a bite. Be cool. Calm and confident. There we go. Come on in. There you go, buddy. No fight, no struggle. My fish now. What do we got here? Oh, this one's a red fin pickerel. Not bad. Not bad at all. Native to lake swamps and streams, pickerel are aggressive predators, so bread is just as good as any bait. Meat is flaky. Let's throw them back. There we go. Look at that. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> I know. Boring as hell. But All right, then, let's do one more here. Something happens. Yeah. For days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait. And try not to worry. It's good there you go. You. Teaching them good life lesson, you know? Guess. He's like, huh? I don't understand. We got this. I'm pulling him. Don't worry. There you go, Bucko. Is that a bigger one? Oh, this is a chain pickerel. They favor current meal bait. Let's throw him back too. We don't need none of those. Hey, look at this. The what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Shoot. Aww. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Whoa. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphaned street kids seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. Ooh. $5,000 for me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vander. <laughs> Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Hmm. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn. And you have my word, you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna Ooh. swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong. Aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow. But merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, wow. Agent. Some of us sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> it's kind of mean to say Poor to a kid. Day. No one to worry about. No one at all. Come on. Let's pick up your things and get home. <laughs> they interrupted our fishing session. Keep that necklace for your mom, though. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. 
Come on, Jack. I'll help you up, buddy. There you go. Fishing rod. One Jack. There you go. All right, yeah. let's head back to camp. Why did we, you tell Dutch what happened. Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Matt? Is he in jail? Oh, no, he did. No, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. All right. Well, did you like fishing? It was okay, <laughs> I think. It's a lot of waiting around. Can't disagree with you on that one, Jack. Can't disagree with you on that one. All right. Let's park up here. There you are. How you boys getting on? Great. We caught a fish, and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. Oh, man, that was awesome. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named uh, um, Milton and uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Well, you followed back here. No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. It's just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. True, true. Okay. All right. Just got to stay calm. Nothing else to it. Nothing else to it. Just stay a little bit calm. We ain't gonna have no problems. No problems at all. So it seems like the train ice might be at another time or something. Because we don't got the option to go do it yet. What's this over here? Home robbery. Javier takes Arthur to Chez Porter to rob the family that lives there. Alright, let's do it. We gotta rob something this episode. All right, let's rob a homestead. I heard about a house. Ooh, could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town. They said said it was really freakish. Freakish. Family local boogeymen, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. Okay. So, well, so it's my business. They were sitting on a lot of cash. They're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. They're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course. Uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Hmm. Okay, then. Let's do it. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. Just take a look. It's in a book. It's up north. On the other side of the river from Valentine. All right. Let's do this, Javier. I like Javier. He's one of my favorites. He wouldn't give us no bad intel. You lead the way, buddy. You know where it is. Lead the way, bucko. Oh, it's going to be a cutscene. Dope! Ride! 
I love how that's just the game's graphics. Like, it's not specifically for the cutscene that looks that good. It's literally what the game looks like all the time. Big fan of it. Big fan of that. Okay, so put us out a bit more north. Okay, we're pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. All right, sounds good. I'm gonna have my... Kind of want to make sure that I have... Let me see. Force weapons. Let's make sure that we got our flak. I want two revolvers out here. So that we can go... Dual wielding. We should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. All right. Fair enough. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really oh, that's not creepy. Especially on their turf. <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you, couldn't, you couldn't have made it sound more scary. We good? place right oh that is a big place you got your binoculars that I do always got my binoculars scout the homestead well, there's a pretty big barn in the back it's not a bad place to start looking there must be a lot of people living here a large house this could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Boy, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And... Oh, great. I got an idea. Oh, no. Follow me. All right. We'll trust Javier. We like him. He wouldn't lead us astray, right? Oh, took out my log backs and... Oh, I hardly ever do that. All these trees, I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us too. The coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. There's gonna be like a million people there. Really wants to get up this close. Javier, what you doing, man? Keep it down. I hear voices. Why are we walking into here? What is your plan? behind the shed see if we can hear what they're saying all right lead the way just stay quiet don't score notions of the dippy Plymouth's head where you been now Newt? don't be boiling now pappy i has gone but 10 minutes i was I can hardly gag all the now day long, cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? No, oh, Edie, get all the jam. They talk you so shut weird. Shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. Your niece will pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go! Oh, you boy. understand what they're saying? Not much of it. <laughs> For real, though. What are we right. doing, Javier? Okay. Take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see. You'll see? That's not very reassuring. All right, let's get behind this rock. Go, Javier. Do your thing. You're gonna throw a... If he throws dynamite... Oh, he burns the shed. Okay, we're gonna take out our knife just in case. Alright, I think it's my time to shine. Actually, you know what? I can gank this one guy. Ooh! There we go.
I can gank him from here. Oh, there you go. They didn't expect me to come through here. Oh! Oh, snap. What you want? You in here too? Where you at? Oh! Goodness. Who else? What do we got here? The barman rifle. He's done too. We good, Javier? I think we're good. I don't see any more of them. All right, quick. Let's look for the stash. They weren't shy about defending that barn. Let's check in there first. All right, let's check quickly for the stash. Uh, where should we look? Where should we look? Some hay bales. Doesn't seem like anything up here. We're down here. I'm gonna check upstairs. Those horses are hella mad. There's gonna be more people coming through, no doubt, though. Has to be under there. Let's loot this real quick. Oh, it's up here. Oh, wait, hold up, hold up. I found something. I'll help you in one second. There's a large jewelry bag, a money stack, $50. And 50 more. All right, well, let's head down. Come on. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. What do you need help with? Push it. <laughs> Yeet. <coughs> oh, there is. Uh, well, well, oh well. We have here. Ooh. I told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah. You take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Sounds good. Take all that money. How much money was that, though? I'm curious. <coughs> I'm scared we're going to open the bar and there's going to be like 50 people shooting at us. All right. Real quick, let's loot everything. 175 bucks there. Uh, let's search the nightstand. Never really anything... I was going to say there's never anything really that good, but then there's a money clip with $10 in it. And I feel like I can't exp I can't, uh... Wait, wait, There's a cigarette card. Boom. Makes it easy for me. Famous gunslinger set. Collected. What is that there? I don't think there's anything else here. One out of 12 cards found. I probably just have some herbivore bait. Alright, I'll take it. Anything else for me? Premium cigarettes. Nothing in this one. Okay, let's check that other house quick. This is the last house we gotta check. Those horses are very upset. I'm sorry, horsies. Can you open this? No, you can't open that. Oh, medical box. I will take it. There's a health cure. Mm, we we're all We got all the health cures we could use though. Let's use one of these though There we go And then let's take one easy see So you got to do it sometimes anything Ooh. You guys got a chimney. Oh you do Oh, it doesn't have anything in it. This is weird though. This whole house and area is just a little bit weird. Something a little bit weird about it, you know? Nothing too crazy. But just a little bit weird. Their accent is weird. Is there anything in here? Or is this lead out? Oh, okay. There's a lot of stuff going on. Hair pomade. We got a cabinet we can open up. Nothing in there. Looks like there's a something over here. Hair, to hair tonic. The heck's a hair tonic? Uses to accelerate the growth of your hair. Oh, neat. Who would have thought? Oh, we got something in here. Weapon case. Okay. Ooh. 
I think that's just a pump shotgun. We already got one. That's a pump action shotgun. This weapon's in poor condition. Alright, we're gonna be carrying two if we're not careful here. So we can we can fix it up if we wanted to. If we didn't already have it, I think that we got the pump action from having some um, DLC items, so. If you don't have it, this is a good spot to come get it. Kentucky bourbon. Let me see real quick. Is there any just straight up? Mm. I don't think you can go through this many to do it. Let's check real quick. Where's that Kentucky bourbon at? I have a lot of drinks here, as you can see. There's a lot. We could do a miracle bitter. I want something for the dead eye, you know? I don't think any drinks help with dead eye. Oh, this one does special snake oil. Maybe we could eat something real quick though that'll help out with our, our dead eye. Warm or rum. There we go. Alright, we're good. Let's search this wardrobe real quick. Search the drawer. Search this drawer. Just some gun oil. Alright, doesn't seem like they got much of anything else. Check over here though. Just in case. There's a nightstand. There's a clock on it. You can sleep in these beds. They got another place up here. See, if we just left, we wouldn't be able to loot all this. Let's go first person. It might be better for looting this. We can actually see what's in it. Warmer rum. That's about it. Alright. Let's get on out of here. Should be good. I think we took pretty much everything we could. And did we have that pump action shotgun? I think we should maintain it. Let's go ahead and grab that. And let's clean it. There we go. It's in really bad shape. So you gotta make sure to clean it. Make sure it's all nice, so that it is the most effective it could be, essentially. There we go. Alright, perfect condition now. Let's go ahead and get on out of here. We did a job well done, that's what we did. A job well done. So we set up the beginnings of a train heist. We went fishing. And we robbed a homestead. Pretty Holy successful day in the land of the Wild West, chat. If you watched and enjoyed this, do be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And if you want to cop some fire merch, head over to typical.store. Link in the description below. More walkthroughs coming out soon, so stay tuned. If you want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram, link in the description below. That's going to be it for this one. Arthur Morgan is out. Lots more adventures still on the path. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and peace out.